What's going on, everybody? I'm Commander Restless Corpse, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. Look, guys, it's so fucking close that I can taste it. Unfortunately, today is probably not the day. And I'll explain in a second, but the reason today is probably not the day is because I am absolutely exhausted. And uh, I'm not sure if I'm even going to be able to stay up long enough to record this video, let alone get to Sagittarius A, and I don't want to, like, pass out. I, I, I'm I, going to be honest. I've almost, uh, I've kind of passed out in my computer chair for, like, a couple seconds twice now. Once pointed at a star, and once just kind of flying out like this. Now, either way, if I pass out, I'm probably going to die. Because if you pass out, obviously, pointed at a star, you're going to run into it. And if I pass out <laughs> just flying this way, um... I'll run out of fuel and die. But we're all gassed up, and we are looking at 23 jumps to Sagittarius A. Guys, we're so damn close, and I'm really excited to get there. And I hate to leave you guys on a cliffhanger, but it's probably going to happen. I don't know. I might get a second wind. It just depends on how long it takes to actually uh, record this video. But I want to talk about something that is a very real possibility when I get there. And the very real possibility is... Because I've, uh, well before I started exploring, um, reading around on Reddit, I've heard of people that hang out at Sagittarius A with the, and, like, the sole purpose of destroying defenseless explorers. Now, we've talked about this before. Uh, remember, I refused to leave, I refused to play solo during this, uh, this exploration stretch now sometimes like in the bubble a couple some of my earlier videos every once in a while I would go in solo especially when I was like farming a res um, and that's because when I was looking up what reses were and how to maximize those oh and that, that guy looks pretty cool we might go swing over and check that guy out uh, when I was looking about looking up like how to maximize your time in a res I read about like Sometimes the spawns there are kind of altered by how many people are in it. Um, also, there's the the whole if another commander is fighting the same enemy you are, the person with the last hit is the one that gets it. So yeah, when I was farming some reses, uh, and I didn't do it all the time, but when I was farming some reses, I would play solo. I did some of my Robigo runs solo. I did most of them in open uh, because that was back around the time that... Uh, Robigo was kind of highly contested. There was a blockade or whatever. I played a lot like late at night when I played an open or sometimes really, you know, earlier midday. It it was weird times that just didn't seem to be times that people hung out there. But for for the most part, I did play some solo, but I don't like the idea of hiding in solo. So there's a very real possibility that I'm going to get to Sagittarius A and a few things could happen. Number one, nobody's there. Everything is fine. Man, this plant is jacked up. Uh, I can get there and nobody's there. Everything's fine. I get my scan. I look around for a little bit and then I take off. There's also the possibility that I get there. I'm instantly interdicted and absolutely destroyed. And then there's also the third possibility of me getting there, getting interdicted, escaping, and being unable to actually scan the supermassive black hole. Now, that that is almost akin... Like, uh, okay, I can't say that it's almost the same as getting destroyed there. Because obviously it's not. Getting destroyed is the worst case possibility. and Or worst case scenario. And um, I'm totally going to get a screenshot with this. So, let's, let's do that. I'm going to turn around, though. Uh, because it would just... It would absolutely like ruin all the work that I've done out here let's let's get let's do this over here so that would obviously suck but to be honest I'm not sure that that I'm not sure how likely that is anymore I don't know if people still hang out there look at this guy that's actually a really cool planet I like the fact that underneath the crust is this like just layer of lava that is burning outward it's really cool looking uh, but back to the topic at hand here. There's a very real possibility, or, or no, no, I was saying that I, I'm not sure how viable that possibility is anymore. I don't know if people still hang out. That was a long time ago that I read that. 
Also, I do play kind of late, which seems to be late for the U.S. players and too early for, like, British players or, you know, European players in general. I, I don't want to generalize you guys all into British, but, you know, I, I'm a dumb American. <laughs> what can I say? So I don't really – I'm not putting that one – very far up there to be honest i'm pretty sure i'm just gonna get there do my scans look around for a little bit and get out of there with with little to no fanfare but i really want that uh, and and let's go ahead and continue on here i really want to be able to you know take my time there and look around and scan and stuff um but i'm definitely not gonna do that while i'm tired so i do apologize once again guys because it it feels like I'm leading you on, but I'm not. I just want you guys to have, or I want to have, and I want you guys to have the best experience possible when we get there because it's it's the end goal of the exploration this time. Because remember, I'm probably going to come out here again at some point. Uh, but after that, we need to talk about how I'm going to get home. I know that we had, like, these big plans where I was going to go all the way to the other side of the galaxy. And then on the way, I was going to hit, like, points of interest. Um, I don't want the return journey to take as long as this journey has. Like, no offense to anybody that really enjoys the exploration videos. Um, and I, don't get me wrong, I am not bored of exploration. I think it's really fun. It, it, it's such a, like, a, a chill, soothing thing to do. You know, I'm just flying around, looking at things, seeing cool stuff, and talking to you guys. I think it's really cool. And it, uh, it's something to be said about just relaxing in a game. Like, games nowadays, you don't, you don't really get to do that a whole lot. Everything's about blowing stuff up and, and, you know, firing from cover and, you know, reviving teammates and it just I love that type of gameplay don't get me wrong I absolutely love that type of gameplay but there's just something to be said about the just relaxed nature of exploring in Elite Dangerous and uh, that's why I like it so much I know like a lot of people uh, let's say uh, you're trying to tell a friend about Elite Dangerous you're trying to sell this game to a friend but the only thing to do and Elite Dangerous was exploration. Most people who don't already play the game will probably be like, that game sounds absolutely boring. Luckily, um, Elite Dangerous has a whole bunch of other things to do, and that's kind of what drew me into it, and I never really thought that I was going to end up going on an exploration voyage um, until well into you know doing other stuff. As a matter of fact, I know I've talked about this before, but I did take a week off of recording elite i played every day but i took a week off of recording elite dangerous because i wasn't sure if i wanted to do the exploration thing and the reason uh that i wasn't sure is that i had you know there are a couple people that i know and a couple of other gaming friends that kind of off and on played the game and my worry was that i would start this exploration voyage be you know really far out many many light years away from the bubble and then my friends would be like hey man you want to do something in elite dangerous and i wouldn't be able to you know but i kind of i bit the bullet and i decided that i was going to do it because everybody loves it that does it anyway except for the few bad or i'm not going to call them bad seeds that's mean except for the few uh like the minority of of people that try it don't like it and it, it either turns them off the game like uh, the the story a couple days ago or they just don't want to ever do it again luckily I have not had a bad experience well I, I kind of did have a bad experience remember we I crashed into a moon but I that ex that experience did not sour me it actually it just taught me that I needed to be careful, but it was fun. Like it was a, a real tense thing. I don't, I don't remember if you guys remember that video, or maybe if you started watching after that video. Uh, I can't remember what number it was, but if you go back and you you look through my Elite Dangerous videos, it's not in the the playlist. It's just a, it's an Elite short, which I was planning on doing a whole bunch of those, but I ended up, you know, doing this recording thing, and everything is caught on in the the episode so the elite shorts don't really work but when i get to the, the bubble we'll probably do some of those and elite shorts are when i just find something cool 
that I, I want to show off, but it's not enough to add into an entire episode. But if you go back and look at that video, the the actual episode that the Elite Short came from, that was a very tense and exciting episode for me. I had, you know, a certain amount of time to get back to the bubble and repair because my canopy was broken and I was losing air. Luckily, before I left, I bought the... I A-rated my life support. Which, I don't know why I did that. Because I wasn't planning on ever needing it. But it's a good thing that I did. But I had like, you know, 3% hull. And it was, it was very scary and very tense. And it was fun. Like, I, and I've, you know, read threads about people doing stuff like that and deciding that exploring was not for them. So I'm glad that that didn't turn me off. But um, I, I want to I wanna get back to the bubble. There's I've got so many ideas for different videos and, and different things that I can do and things that I just want to try out that I never tried out while I was in the bubble because I was making, you know, I was trying to get everything done. I was trying to do everything that this game... Uh, can possibly offer and I'm sure that there are a few things that I haven't done but those are things that they're like you know when a game doesn't necessarily have a lot to do but it's up to the players to to find things to do those are the kind of things that I have left to do like like canyon running and um, an eagle or something actually I've been I've really been thinking about the diamondback scout lately because I think it looks really cool. It's a cool looking ship. I want one. Uh, I don't know if the Scout and the Explorer look the same, but I'll, you know, I'll see when I get back to the bubble and when, whatnot. But I want to buy an Eagle. I want to buy a Scout. I want to buy, or a, a Diamondback. You know, I want to just try things. So I'm really excited about getting here and getting back. But uh, I think I'm just going to go straight back. Uh, obviously, I'm going to record it just like I'm recording now. I'm not going to do the entire journey off camera. Okay, so what's going on here? I've noticed this a lot since I got this close to the core, as a matter of fact. Uh, there's been some times where I've been in witch space for like five minutes. Like literally, I go watch a YouTube video and I come back and I'm still in witch space. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure that's just, you know, the game being bogged down because there's so many different systems and, and the core is like tightly packed with the stuff it could also be my internet connection i'm not sure uh i haven't gotten any corrupted scans so i don't know if that's the case but i was kind of worried that this would happen during the recording because now i actually have to entertain you guys until this is done because i don't want to cut but uh, so i'm gonna i'm just gonna go straight back guys i'm gonna you know plot as straight a course as i can to get back Hopefully I'll find there after I scan the supermassive black hole there's only one thing left on the list to find and that is a ringed earth like it doesn't matter if it's discovered first or not so <clears throat> uh I'm going to go about halfway back to the bubble and if I haven't found one by then I'm going to ask you guys to probably maybe suggest a system that is closish to my path to get there uh, but don't do that yet. Like, I want to find one of my own, whether it's, you know, discovered or not. But when we get back to the bubble, guys, some things about, I guess, the, the videos in general are probably going to change. I'm going to, to work a little bit on production on some of the videos, especially since they won't just be, you know recording me talk i mean i'm still going to do these types of videos obviously but if you remember again if you've been watching since my first episode or my first couple episodes you know that every episode leading up to the exploration episodes actually had a like a, a theme like a point like it was this is the mining episode or this is the smuggling episode this is where i go through this or you know uh i'm I bought a new ship, so let's go try that out type of thing. Well, being that I've already done most of that stuff, when I get back, I'm going to do, like, themed episodes. I've already talked about how I want to do a system showcase series where I go into a system and I break it down and show everything that is cool about the system, everything that is bad about the system, uh, distances between, you know, things like that, and kind of make it a... 
uh, a guide to the galaxy type of thing where I'll be like if you're looking for pristine reserves with a, a station that is you know close enough to the reses and you know uh, this will be the system and this is what each of the the stations have to sell and you know if you if you're looking for something you can go here that kind of thing and we'll do like a, a tour guide type of thing for for a lot of big systems so I'm pretty excited about doing that that's probably gonna take a while I don't know I obviously would not be able to do that every day because there would be a lot of information and a lot of recording and cuts and things like that that would go along with those videos but I'm really excited about it I also again want to do canyon runs in various ships now these are going to have to be, you know, I'm going to have to make, oh, if I make enough money from this, then it won't be a problem. But Canyon Runs, I just have this feeling that I'm going to be blowing up a lot. So I'm going to need to make sure I have enough for rebuys. Plus I want to do them in various ships, so I'm going to have to be able to buy various ships. Uh, I don't know, it's going to be really fun. I'm really excited about it. I've already checked the system app. I don't know why I clicked that again. But we have to get there first. So um, I don't know. It, it's it's hard to think right now because I'm so damn exhausted. So uh, I might go ahead and cut this short. But I, I didn't want to not have a video for you guys. You know, I, I say that a lot. Like I, I, I actually kind of feel bad when I go a day without a video. Like when I was sick and I, I went like five or six days without a video um, I logged on every day and I you know would try to set up the recording stuff and talk in it and my voice was just scratchy and and throat was really bad and I would end up just jumping doing a couple jumps and logging back off but I I like the idea that I have a daily like goal and this ties into something that I talked about a, a few episodes ago about the whole like depression and anxiety thing. Um, YouTube in general actually has really helped me with this. Before I did YouTube, I would have like really bad bouts and then not see it for a while. I'm I'm trying to see. Can you see like any kind of distortion from? Supermassive black. Ah, I can't see. I think we're. Uh, I'm also. I apologize that I got so damn close to the mic there. Uh, but YouTube having like for me having a, a daily upload schedule, even if my other series like Luffy is kind of sporadic. Uh, I when I can get to it, I get to it. Uh, Arc is going to be that way as well. Although uh, the first episode for the new Arc series went up yesterday which was today for me, but yesterday for you guys. So uh, if you're interested in that, check it out. It's actually pretty fun to, to record. And I do need to throw this out there, guys. We are actually looking for other YouTubers that play ARC to join the server and help out in, you know, making content and having fun. So if, if you're interested in playing ARC or you already play ARC and you make ARC videos, then hit me up. Send me a private message or something or uh, follow me on Twitter and DM me on Twitter and, and we'll talk and we'll figure out what we can do to maybe get you set up on that server. I think it'd be pretty fun because Ark is a, a very fun game, but I've played it so long that I actually <laughs> it, I need other people to play with me to have fun. To be honest, um, uh, not all the time. Like the game is still fun for me, especially since I haven't played it in a while. There's a lot of new stuff, but that game really shines when you're playing with your bros. Uh, but anyway, so the with the whole depression thing, because I I've made this like goal for myself to upload every day, it gives me something to work work towards, and it it gives me focus, and it has really really helped. And I've been doing this for a couple years now. Uh, speaking of that, by the way, we're, we, we have now passed, I think it's like 604 subscribers at the time of this recording. You guys are fucking amazing. I just want to throw that out there again. I know I've said that to you guys before. I said that back when we had like 510 subscribers or whatever. Uh, when I started this, I had about 270 or so. So you guys, y your support 
absolutely blows me away, and I, I can't thank you guys enough. Just keep it coming. I mean, the, the you know, it, it feels weird to say, but, like, as that su subscriber count rises and as the view counts rises, it really spurns me on to, you know, redouble my efforts in making these videos, uh, knowing that, you know, people are getting enjoyment out of them. That's the whole point. Anyway, uh, I have rambled on enough. And it's looking like 14 jumps. Now, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. But tomorrow's video, there's going to be a, the tiniest of gaps. Oh, look at this guy. We'll end it over there. There's going to be the tiniest of gaps because I want tomorrow's video to have enough time to actually get to Sagittarius and dick around there. I don't want to just get to it and be like, all right, cool, we're here. Uh, see you later. So I'm going to do, I'm probably going to get it down to about five jumps before I start recording tomorrow night. And hopefully we'll be able to get into Sagittarius and, you know, people will not grief me. But we'll see. I mean, this is a pretty fast ship. I, I think that I might be able to get away. The un unfortunate aspect of that is that I probably won't get to scan Sagittarius itself. But we'll see. In any case, if you like this video, guys, go ahead and hit that like button. If you want to see more videos of Elite Dangerous or any of the other videos that I've done, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you have anything to say, throw it down in the comments. Remember, I'm Commander Restless Corpse. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I really mean it when I say that I appreciate each and every one of you. And I'll see you guys in the next video.